Okay, this is uh, the last of what I got today. Uh, mostly my wife buys this stuff is jewelry. Let me go through a quick, uh, let me just give you a quick preview of what you're gonna see. And then I'll just get to everything. Um, we spent about maybe 35 to $40 on this stuff. I don't know exactly. Okay, what you got here is um, liquid silver, kind of an Indian design necklace. Um, not a lot of silver, still pretty. Um, blue coral bead design, maybe like uh, 20 bucks. Anywhere from 12 to 20, I'd say. Here's a pretty cool Mexican necklace. It's got a stone, a white metal, not precious metal, not too valuable. Comes with uh, matching earrings. Very cool design. It has something on the back. I don't remember. I don't have time to go through it now. Um, we'll probably get 15 to 20 because it's got a little damage here, which nobody will really notice, but we'll be honest and tell them. Um, here's a gold tone uh, leaf choker. Pretty nice. Um, we'd probably get, I don't know if it has a name on it, um, but we'd probably get like, 12 or so for it. Um, there's a white sour Coventry pin. Mm, not worth a fortune. We'd probably get maybe six to eight for it. Uh, little little gold locket, gold locket. Not real gold, obviously. Maybe brass, I'll say. Um, here's a pretty neat seahorse. It's a necklace. It's plastic and gold tone metal. And I think we get like eight or 10 for that. Here's a big enamel and gold tone uh, pendant. Uh, here's a nice amber plastic necklace, not worth a fortune, it's got a few amber rhinestones in it, we probably get like $8, they're kind of cheap with the jewelry at the flea markets we go to, so we don't get too much, but here's, this is kind of a nice old pin, possibly check glass, um, you can see from the back it's got some age, I think the most we get for this would be 20 um, then we got some rhinestone-y stuff, uh, pretty nice, bigger pins, um, you can get more for these, but they're not quite as popular as they were um, a few years ago. Here's a nice big green rhinestone pin until it has aged by looking at the back. Um, here's one with amber and kind of um, aurora borealis uh, rhinestones. Um, Coro duet pin. Uh, these used to be worth like 45, 50, 75, whatever. I think I'd be lucky to get 20 for it. Um, mine's also missing some rhinestones. We will be honest and tell people that they're missing the rhinestones. Um, again, these we'd probably get anywhere 15 to 25 for a piece. Um, here's a set, pink, rhinestone, earrings, flip-ons. That's, again, like $20, $25 for us. An enamel butterfly, maybe 6 to $8. This is actually really nice. It's German, it's silver, it's enamel. Unfortunately, um, oh, also rhinestones. Unfortunately, it's got tiny little um, nicks to the enamel, which you cannot see. Um, it's, it kind of cuts the value a lot. Everybody will give us a hard time about it. I'd probably just sell it for 20 bucks. Um, nice black and uh, Auroborealis rhinestones. And this set here, again, $15, $25, maybe $25 for the set, maybe $15 to $20 for this. And kind of winding up on the jewelry, here's some stone beads you got to fix something. Uh, not for sale. Here's a stone necklace, got some nice stone beads. These are glass beads. These are probably six to $12 at most. Uh, some gold tone necklaces, uh, not real gold, golden color. This one's got a silver chain mix in, and this one looks like a heavy man's gold chain. Uh, not too valuable, probably sell them anywhere eight to uh, $12 at most. And uh, that's it on the joy.